Good morning. Georgia woke me up early. We didn't get to bed till late. And, um, whoo, little miss, mm, little miss, uh, just woke me up. I think she might be poopy. I'm gonna put her in her new Grovia Calico one. She looks like this, and it's so cute. And I'm gonna put this on her right now. There she is. Hi, little miss. Hi. And um, when you're putting on a cloth diaper, what I've found is easiest is to attach each of these first snaps because then you kind of get the, the waist exactly where you need it and then to adjust, adjust these next snaps over. And you want the diaper, you know, like I've said before, but you want the diaper to be loose enough that it's not causing red marks on their waist and hips. You want to be able to kind of pull it out a little bit, like fit a couple fingers in there, but you don't want to be able to see all the way down. And uh, then on the front, you want the rise to be pointed up like this. And then... You always want to check the legs and make sure that nothing's sticking out. And nothing is. Since this one, the insert snapped in, you know it's unlikely that it would. But you always want to check and make sure you don't have any leg gaps and have anything that needs to be adjusted. And that is it. She was a poopy girl. I knew it. She pooped in her brother's Grovia 1. And they're really hard to get your poo out of, honey. Yeah, you pooped in your brother's diaper. I hope it doesn't stain. Yeah, I love you though, sweetheart. So now I'm trying to figure out what to do with my day. It's still crazy snowy outside. So I'm trying to decide if there's some sort of project or something that I can work on today. Alright, say so Bye. Gunner's awake. Good morning. Good morning, sweet boy. Boy. And mommy has the cloth diaper laundry all set out. I have to put those back together. And change Gunner's diaper. And little Miss Georgia's just sleeping away on mama. But if I put her down, she'll wake up. <clears throat> now I'm doing eggs for breakfast. Gunner likes eggs a lot, so I do eggs for breakfast pretty often. It's hard to find things that he'll eat for breakfast. Like, he will not touch um, oatmeal. Sometimes he'll do yogurt. He doesn't, he just never liked baby food. So, for him, I have, I'm going to do eggs, and then he... Sometimes we'll eat these little fruit cups, okay, or bananas. I have those bananas, too, and then we'll do some toast. But it is really hard getting stuff um, for a toddler to eat. So, Gunner, are you a picky eater? Are you picky? <laughs> I love you. For my eggs, I don't really do anything special for them. I should do uh, my French toast, though, for you guys some morning. Show you guys how I do my French toast, which is actually, it's really, like, simple, but it's really good. My um, kids and my husband, they all say I make the best French toast. Then I'm trying to figure out some cloth diaper videos to do. I have, like, a bunch of reviews and stuff that I need to work on. I used to run, like, a mile or two every day. I can't believe it's been five years ago now, but I used to run every day uh, or and or do, like, crazy big workouts. I used to do Insanity, Zumba, lift weights, run on the treadmill, the elliptical. Uh, I did yoga. I, I just was super active. I did tons and tons of uh, workouts. And I haven't for a long time. I mean, I was pregnant with Gunner, 
and then I had him and then I ner was nursing him and stuff and then nine months later I got pregnant with Georgia and I've just really slacked on working out and that's something I'd like to get back into and you know even though I'm almost back at my pre-pregnancy weight I um I'm not in good shape like at all and so that is really something that I want to focus on and get back into and so if there's anyone on my channel that is wanting to do that I love inspiring people and I love you know like being the optimistic encourager like you can totally do it and so um, I would love to like try and get into shape with some of my viewers you know like let's set goals together and like let's do this so comment down below if that's something that you want to do is you know start working out and if it's something you want me to pursue on my channel like I used to write out my own little workouts and do them at home um, they're easy to do just in a small space like your living room so if you can't go for a run or go to the gym because you have little kids and so I would love to do that like write out a workout and then show you guys and <laughs> I don't mind I'll be the one who is getting all out of breath gasping for breath and you know sweaty and reaching for water because I'm dying but it's it feels so good after you're done working out you feel like a million bucks and so I think that would also help with some of my postpartum depression and some of my anxiety and just some of the stuff that I've been struggling with after Georgia was born um, I haven't talked about a lot and so I think that that might be good so anyways if that's something some of my viewers would like to do um, awesome comment down below and I'll definitely branch into a little bit of um, workout stuff so anyways that's kind of something I wanted to talk about and I'm gonna feed these guys breakfast now so bye hi guys so I was finally able to take a shower but my poor baby cried the whole time she does not like to let mama take a shower here she is she uh, doesn't feel good. She kind of has a runny nose today and she doesn't feel good. It makes me sad. I hate when my babies don't feel good. I really wish that I was able to dry my hair because it's freezing outside and it's not good to be running around with wet hair. Uh, I did get some more fluff mail though and so I'm going to open that real quick with you guys and show you what I got. Alright, so I have no idea what's in this. I have no clue because I buy stuff and I forget what I ordered. This is... It looks like Oops. It's called Oops. Yep, it's a Bum Genius uh, flip diaper and it is called Oops. And this one... Ugh... They said it was in excellent condition, but it is not. See, look at the legs. Which sucks because with shipping, I paid almost $10 for this diaper. See, look how worn out the tag is. And they said excellent. See, this is a perfect example of what means excellent to one person doesn't necessarily mean excellent to another. Like, I never would have paid because this diaper is only $15 brand new. Granted, you'd have to pay shipping, but a flip, a Bum Genius flip, um, is like $15 brand new. And so with shipping, I paid $10 for this one, and it's not in good condition at all. I mean, it's cool because I have this print for my collection now. Um, they included a flower sack towel for free uh, with it, but these are only worth a dollar. But yeah, this diaper is not in good condition. Let's see if I can close up on it. Like, it's kind of brown and dingy. The elastics aren't tight. It's all gross. I'm going to probably end up getting rid of this diaper. Let's see, look at it. It's, these are supposed to be white and they're kind of brown or like brownish. See, the tag's white. Yeah, this diaper is not in good condition. I can't stand when people do that because it's really hard to tell from pictures. So you kind of have to take people's word for it on the condition of the diaper. And she had said excellent condition and this, like I said, is not in excellent condition. I'm kind of bummed about that. 
So that kind of ruined my fluff mail for for today, but oh well, there it is. There's the fluff mail for today. Hi guys, so it's the middle of the night, but I completely forgot that I had more fluff mail to open. And so I just got done editing my other videos and I'm just going to show you guys what I got real quick. I, fingers crossed, I think that this is my glimmer, uh, my Bum Genius Glimmer print. Uh, it's a flip diaper, which I am not a huge fan of, but I've been looking for this print since I started cloth diapering and I have not seen one for sale. It's um, a retired print and it hasn't been available for like, I don't even know, a long time. And I think that this is the, I think this is it. So. Uh, fingers crossed for me and let's take a look and see what it is okay guys here it is so let's see this is not glimmer this is not glimmer this is Ballet. What the heck? This is not glimmer. Yeah, this is not glimmer. Now I'm upset because this is not what I ordered. I am contacting somebody right now. Hey guys, so I just wanted to update you guys on what happened with that diaper. Um, I screenshotted the post where the lady had, she also had that ballet diaper that she sent me up for sale, but she had the glimmer too. And I sent her a message, even though it's the middle of the night, I figured she'd get it in the morning. And I was like, this is the wrong diaper. Um, this is the one you were supposed to send me. I'll put up a picture of the diaper that I was supposed to get. I was obviously pretty upset, but I said I hope this was an honest mistake. And in the morning I did hear back from her and she said that she had sent the wrong one on accident. So she sent me money for shipping, asked me to ship it back, and then she'd ship me the right one. And uh, she... I don't know. I'm not really sure how a mistake like that happened. And then I shipped her the diaper back. And so, like, she could potentially rip me off. So hopefully she doesn't because she still got paid for that diaper. I paid $25 for that diaper. And it's just a flip diaper. And so they're only worth $15. And that's why I was pretty upset when I, when I uh, opened it. Anyways, so that is kind of the update on that diaper. I didn't want to just leave you guys hanging, but I kind of ended that video really quick because I was really thrown off. I was like, this is not what I ordered. Um, anyways, and so the correct diaper should be on its way and I will show you guys when I get it. So please give my video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.